How's it going, you guys? It's Damocles here, and welcome back to the third installment of my Pokemon Unite Beginner Basics series. In this series, I'm trying to take people who have no knowledge of MOBAs and introduce you to some basic MOBA concepts in the context of Pokemon Unite. Uh, today, in particular, we're talking about the all-rounder role, which is more of a tankier DPS role, and we're talking about engage and dive and those concepts as well. So if you're interested in that or you're interested in any of these Pokemon, make sure you stay tuned. Without further ado, let's just hop into it. Okay, so in traditional MOBAs, uh, all-rounders might be referred to as bruisers, as uh, divers, as fighters. They all have different archetypes even within the all-rounder role. Um, and that holds true in Pokemon Unite as well. Uh, as far as power curves are concerned, it's a little bit of a difficult video to make because they kind of play in different ways depending on what character you're actually choosing. But I'm going to try and keep it at a higher level, and if I need to go more in-depth in another video, that's fine. Um, but in general, things that are that hold true among all of these characters is that usually they're going to have slightly less damage than, um, than carries will, and slightly less damage than defenders, but they'll have more of the opposite of each, if that makes sense. So they're going to have more uh, defense than a carry will, and they'll have more offense than a defender will. But, you know, right in the middle, they'll be the best of, they'll, or they'll be like jack of all trades, so to speak. Um, and they also are going to have similar roles in the team fights of the game. You are going to be uh, relying on your CC, you're going to be relying on your engage, and you're also going to be relying on your ability to stay in the thick of a fight. Um, you're not uh, a tank, you're not trying to necessarily absorb all the damage, but you're trying to go and hop onto the enemy back line. Uh, so predominantly, you're going to be spending most of your time in the front line or starting off team fights uh, because of how good you are at staying in the thick of it and causing disruption. So if you're into that, you might want to consider playing an all-rounder. But again, their power curves differ slightly depending on the actual uh, character themselves. So, for example, Charizard, his early game, not that great. But later on in the game, he can breathe fire on everybody from a decent, safe distance, and he's a lot better. Uh, Garchomp, similar situation, but in my opinion, a lot better. He is not that great early game either, but his jungle clear is pretty solid. And then later on in the game, he really takes a commanding presence in team fights and he can solo objectives. The opposite of that would be Lucario. Lucario is an early game machine. He is a destroyer early game. If you are playing Lucario, you do not want to be scared of enemy carries at the start of the game. You want to be going dive, dive, dive. And what I mean by dive is um, doing anything, well, Dive is diving onto a carry, but it's also doing anything that you're diving past a point where you probably shouldn't be at. So maybe, uh, you know, if you're thinking about the towers in Pokemon Unite, after you go past the first tower, if you haven't taken it down, um, or if you haven't captured that point, uh, you're significantly slowed. And sometimes that can be a dangerous place to be if you're a carry or you're an immobile character because you could just die you're, you're very slowed um but if you're playing like a lucario or something you could go and you could dive you could try and push somebody off tower you can dash back you can steal some of their health artifacts stuff like that so they play in a little bit of a different uh you know they play in different ways garchomp might be hiding in the jungle for a long period of time and then come out and he's a monster lucario might be in the lane the entire game and just destroying people then but then later on he's more of a cc bot he's in more of a a, a a crowd control oriented role. So just things to uh, keep in mind. Um, but if that didn't uh, say it enough, um, for the most part, all rounders can kind of be in any position on the map that they want to be. Um, now that doesn't mean that you should just go and immediately assume that like you can just take over the jungle role or you should just immediately go into lane. You need to be intelligent about it, right? There's definitely characters um, in different roles like a Talonflame and an Absol would probably be a better jungler than a Machamp would. Um, there's different things to take into account, but what I'm saying is there's nothing necessarily preventing you from doing that you might just not be the best choice um there are certain people in particular like a lucario where i think that the lane is honestly probably better because they win like 90 percent of those early lane matchups that's how good he is early game um but just something to uh just something to keep in mind now on the subject of cc and crowd control because this is something that's really important i talked about it a couple times in a previous video but um what is cc 
CC, for those of you that are brand new to uh, MOBAs or any kind of uh, games in general, CC is crowd control. And crowd control is anything that is uh, hindering the movement of another player or forcing them to do something that they don't want to do. So, for example, it could be anything from a stun, a sleep, a knock back, a knock up, a knock down. Like anything like that uh, is a form of crowd control or CC. And if you hear me ever say, uh, you know, he turns into a CC bot, basically what I'm saying is the character's turning into, uh, you know, a robot that was their only purpose was to CC. Okay. So, for example, in my opinion, Lucario is an absolute destroyer early game, uh, but later on, in team fights, he is more of a disruptor. His his damage does not scale the same way that a traditional carry would in terms of his uh, power spikes, and so he's not going to necessarily be able to just duel them one on one and get away with it. But he can kind of turn into a CC bot and disrupt them enough that they can't kill their that they can't kill Lucario's team, and that his team can jump on top of them and take them out. Um, and so that's another concept that you should just think about. Make sure you're taking your crowd control into account. And that's kind of how some of these all-rounders end up scaling into the later games. Now, Garchomp in particular uh, does a large amount of damage, uh, but... Um, sorry for my chair. Uh, he does a lot of a large amount of damage late game, but he they he doesn't have that range, right? He doesn't have the same amount of range as a traditional carry would, and so uh, but he has a large amount of displacement with his dragon rush. He can go and uh, and push people out of fights or push people into fights, or with his uh, you know earthquake and dig, he can slow people or stun people. And these are all things that impact team fights that aren't just damage oriented. Okay, um, and so that's part of him power spiking as well. He goes and for the most of the game, he might not do anything, but later on, he's going to be a beast. And if you get in range of him, it's going to hurt. And he has different ways of forcing you into range. He has different ways of forcing uh, his you into his teammates range and that's what all rounders are all about and so that's why i wanted to talk about the general concept of engage here as well um so i already talked about dive a little bit which is kind of like a subset of engage where you're starting up a fight but in general engage is anything where you're starting up a uh starting up a team fight and uh, or you're just starting a battle in general and normally it is uh, it normally it involves some form of mobility. Um, CC engage is really solid as well. Um, anything that is going to allow you to pick a fight that is uh, opportune for your team, right? So, uh, and sometimes that involves getting picks, which is another, not really a form of engage, but it's a uh, a way to engage on the enemy team that puts you at an advantage. So, um, for example, let's just pull up the map here real quick so I can give you a little hypothetical. Uh, so say you are going and you uh, are playing Machamp and your team wants Zapdos, but the enemy team has a fed Pikachu and you think that uh, the only thing stopping you from getting this Zapdos is that fed Pikachu because if that Pikachu goes and enters the Zapdos fight, it's going to steal the Zapdos and your chances of winning go to uh, zero. So what you might have teammates that say, okay, let's get a pick, let's get a pick. So as, a, as an all-rounder who has forms of CC where they can go and jump on the enemy uh, carry, they can go and uh, stop them in their tracks, you might go and say, all right, let's get a pick on the Pikachu. So you might go and you might sit in a bush next to one of these uh, crab Pokemon, or you might just sit in a bush anywhere around the map, and you might wait for one person. You might wait for that Pikachu to go by, and then you're, you engage on them, and your entire team is able to go and get a pick. Okay, that's what a pick is. You're picking somebody off the map so that you have a uh, you're in a more advantageous position. But back to normal engage. Engage is something that is not just done by all rounders. You can do it on defenders. You can do it on on a lot of people. But um, having CC and being able to survive in those front lines uh, is what makes engage really important and what makes all rounders really good at doing it that's why i thought it would be a good combo uh just for this video because um if you look let's see uh for machamp for example he has um and this kind of goes for all of these pokemon right i, I already talked about garchomp he can go and dive on people with 
any of his abilities. Charizard has his unity move and a uh, fire punch that he can go and jump into the back line. And then you have, you know, Lucario with his dashes and his CC. All of these characters in an actual team fight, you're going to want to probably be in the front lines jumping onto the enemy carry, right? Um, and preventing them from acting on your team. But it's these things that allow them to really be great at performing engages and diving enemy backlines. And I already explained what dive was, uh, but being able to go and you are the one who decides when the fight starts. You're the one who's able to force the enemy team into a fight. You know, you are the one who is able to go and with any of your movement abilities or anything like that, you're able to walk up, say, as a Machamp and drop a submission on the enemy Cinderace, which keeps him in place, and maybe you can't kill him with your damage, but the rest of your team could come in and get that kill. And this is something that you're also just going to have to learn about, like, intelligent engages, right? You don't want to go and say, if you are in the bottom lane and, say, you're over by the red side one and your teammates are by your uh by like behind your blue side one you and the enemy cinderace like pokes his head out he is in a bad spot he's in a place for a pick that doesn't mean you automatically take that pick you don't make that engage you don't automatically jump on him because you're gonna have zero backup right you have to be uh, you're, you have to be intelligent when you make these engages, and that just comes from playing the game and playing MOBAs uh, in general. And again, you can do that with defenders, you can do that with some supports as well, uh, but for the sake of this video, all rounders are fantastic at it. Every single one of them has the potential to be able to get into the back line, prevent the carries from doing something, or picking someone off so that your team is in a, is in a, good, uh, is in a good spot. And so that's kind of what all rounders are about. You want to go and use your innate tankiness, but also use your little bit higher damage output than defenders to put pressure on the enemy carries because there's nothing worse as a carry player than having somebody around who is just constantly stunning you, constantly knocking you back. And um, it can change the course of an entire game. I feel like I've said this for like every single role, but that's because in MOBAs, every role has an, has an effect on the game. And it just kind of depends on how you're choosing to play that particular role. Um, and like I said before, it varies depending on the character, which I'm sorry if this video seems a little bit all over the place, but it's like literally every single one of these guys does a slightly different version of what I'm talking about. And I'm just trying to keep it fairly high level. Um, but again, all rounders, make sure you're using your CC intelligently. Make sure you're engaging intelligently so that you can provide advantages for your teammates. Make sure that you are trying to stay in those fights and be intelligent about staying in those fights. You don't necessarily have to go and just run up to somebody and go too deep and die because then you've created the opposite effect for your team. But if you can force a carry out of a fight, or if you can go and prevent your own carry from getting blown up by, say, like an Absol. If you see this Absol keeps diving your carry, maybe you don't go for the dive. Maybe you go and you jump the Absol, peel him off of your um, off of your carry so that you can go and win the fight. All of these different things, these are things you're going to learn, uh, but it's just something to keep in mind um, as you're playing the game and as you're playing an all-rounder. I, uh, I hope that this video was informational to you. It's a little bit tough because of how different some of these characters are. I mean, Lucario and Garchomp, like legit polar opposites in terms of the power curve. But um, in general, I guess, if you are planning on playing any of these characters, just remember Lucario, early game, don't be scared. Garchomp, wait until later game, and then you'll destroy people. Uh, pick the intelligent lane that you should be in, pick intelligent engages, and uh, if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. That's going to be it for me, guys. Damocles out.